Hey, nursing students, welcome back to Simple Nursing's mini lesson series. Today, we're breaking down one of the most common, cheapest, and fastest diagnostic tests that you'll run into in nursing school and on the job, the famous urinalysis. By the end of this video, you'll be able to look at a UA and instantly know what it's saying about your patient's hydration, infection status, kidney function, liver health, and even more. Now, if you want the full lab value breakdown with visuals, normal ranges, and every single what it means in one spot, we've got all of that in our membership, along with over 1,200 videos, study guides, and NCLEX-style practice questions. I'll link it in the description below. Now let's get into it. A urinalysis, or a UA, is exactly what it sounds like. It's a test that looks at the urine to figure out what's really going on inside the body. It's quick, it's non-invasive, and it can be a goldmine of information for hydration status, infections, metabolic problems, and even kidney and liver function. Now, there are three main types. First is the dipstick, a quick in-office strip that changes colors. Second is microscopic. This looks at all the tiny cells, crystals, and bacteria under the microscope. And the third is a culture. This tells us what bacteria is in there and which antibiotics can work best to kill it. Now let's read a urinalysis the way you'll usually see it on a lab report, from the top to the bottom. Starting with normal urine, this is pale yellow and clear. Think pee like tea, but watered down. Abnormal colors can tell you a lot. Dark amber could mean dehydration or even liver problems. Red or pink might mean blood from infection, kidney stones, or even trauma. Cloudy urine can signal infection or protein. And certain medications or dyes can even turn the urine orange, blue, or even green. Another term is specific gravity. This measures how concentrated the urine is. So let the name help you. Gravity, simply think heavy. Normal is 1.005 to 1.030. Low specific gravity below the 1.005 means dilute urine, which could mean overhydration or even diabetes insipidus. Now, high specific gravity, simply think it's very heavy. Above 1.030, which means the urine is concentrated, usually from dehydration, SIADH, or glucose inside the urine. Remember this, low numbers means lots of water. High numbers means high dehydration. Next up is the pH. Normal is 4.5 to 8, which is slightly acidic. Acidic urine can come from a high protein diet or metabolic or even respiratory acidosis. Alkaline urine could be from urinary tract infections, a vegetarian diet, or prolonged vomiting. Now, glucose should be negative. If it's positive, it means glucose is spilling into the urine because blood levels are just way too high, most often seen with uncontrolled diabetes. Next is ketones. These should also be negative. If they're positive, this means the body is burning fat for fuel, or basically energy, instead of using glucose. This happens in DKA diabetic ketoacidosis, one type of a diabetes emergency, or it can happen in starvation or on a ketogenic, low-carb diet. Next is blood, or hematuria. This one should also be negative. If it's positive, think infection, kidney stones, trauma, or even myoglobin from muscle injury. So always remember, find the source of the bleed. Next up is protein. Again, it should be negative or trace. Small amounts can show up after exercise, fever, or even stress. But consistent positive protein usually means kidney damage, heart failure, or even preeclampsia in pregnancy. Nitrites should also be negative. A positive result means certain bacteria converted nitrates into nitrites, most often seen with the big E. coli infection the big player in urinary tract infections. The next one is all about infection, leukocyte nesterase. This one should be negative. If it's positive, it means that white blood cells, those WBCs, 
are inside the urine, usually fighting infection or inflammation somewhere along the urinary tract. We also have bilirubin and urobilinogen. These are byproducts of red blood cell breakdown. Positive bilirubin can mean liver disease or bile duct obstruction. And high urobilinogen can point to hemolysis or even liver damage. The results are only as good as the sample you collect. So for a clean catch midstream, you have to educate your patients to clean the area, start urinating, catch the urine midstream, and then finish the rest in the toilet. For a 24-hour urine collection, throw away the first void, then keep every drop for the next 24 hours, and always refrigerate it. Contamination can totally change the results, so don't skip the cleaning steps. Now here are some combos to keep in mind. Nitrites plus leukocytes means a UTI, a urinary tract infection. Glucose plus ketones usually means DKA, diabetic ketoacidosis. High specific gravity plus dark urine usually always means dehydration. These combos love to show up on the NCLEX all the time. And as well as real life, you'll be connecting the dots in the same way. So here's a quick recap. A normal urinalysis is pale yellow, clear, specific gravity 1.005 to maximum 1.030. pH is slightly acidic and negative for glucose, ketones, blood, protein, nitrites, leukocytes, and bilirubin. These should all be negative. Remember, abnormal values point you toward dehydration, infection, kidney disease, liver disease, or even metabolic problems. So if you want every single lab value broken down with visuals and mnemonics, plus practice questions to lock it all in, well, it's all inside Simple Nursing Membership. We've got entire lab value guides, NCLEX review lectures, and study tools that make this stuff stick. See the link below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss the next mini lesson. You got this. And as always, don't be scared, be prepared. You got this, future nurse.